Hey there, hi there, ho there, and welcome to the short stuff. I'm Josh, and there's Chuck, and I'm Josh, and there's Chuck, and Chuck's here, and I'm Josh, and let's go, because we're talking about squirrels, so zip, zip, zowie. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is, you know, a continu- continuation of our squirrel talk. Um, we've never done one on squirrels, but I know a couple of years ago, you talked about the squirrel being your foe, uh-huh. and then you had since turned to love and embrace squirrels. I love the squirrels. Uh, I had a squirrel attack me, uh, which you can see on my uh, video doorbell. Uh, if you go to Instagram, Chuck the Podcaster, at Chuck the Podcaster, you can see my squirrel attack that where the squirrel ran up my leg. Uh-huh. And now we're going to talk about something I thought was pretty interesting, which is squirrels and the notion of them uh, gathering nuts and things for the winter and hiding them. Okay, wow. Or that was storing a them, rather. Heck of an intro, Chuck. That's it for short stuff, everybody. <laughs> um, yeah, so I had heard about these studies before. Hadn't you? Like, this isn't news to me. It was news to me. Okay, so what we're talking about, it turns out that um, squirrels that live in trees, called tree squirrels, they're different from ground squirrels. And one big thing that differentiates them, aside from where they nest or den, either in the ground or in a tree, is that tree squirrels typically don't hibernate, which is cool because then that means you can see squirrels year-round. But it's rough for the squirrels because then that means that they have to sustain themselves nutritionally throughout the year, which can get kind of hard in the winter months, which is why, everybody, squirrels, especially tree squirrels, tend to stow food. They gather food during the fall to last them through the winter. That's right. And it's also why this time of year, especially in Atlanta, uh, a.k.a. city of 10 million squirrels, it seems like, Uh they are everywhere this time of year. Um, Nuts are falling on the ground. Little acorns are falling on the ground. And squirrels are very, very busy. And it it sort of you kind of take the squirrel for granted because they're everywhere. But occasionally I will be driving around and I will just sort of laugh to myself about the fact that in my per in my view let's say walking or driving Mm -hmm. i see like 10 wild animals just running around in the middle of a city (laughs) yeah they're everywhere they are well you know georgia and atlanta in particular is a particularly wooded metropolis so it makes sense that they'd be everywhere in atlanta i think if you went to like kansas city you'd be sorely disappointed it's just devoid of life metropolis Mm mm-hmm Okay. <laughs> I'm trying out some new ways of saying things. I love it. I hope that catches fire. Thank you. Thank you. So um, with these uh, with these squirrels, when they're storing stuff for the winter and when they're gathering all this stuff. Um, what, what are they eating? Well, they're eating what's called mast, which is one of my favorite words. It's also called tree fruit, things like acorns, basically any nuts that grow on trees. They also, I didn't know this, Chuck, apparently also will eat uh, baby birds while they're in their nests, nestlings. Uh, yeah, I didn't know that. That was disappointing to hear. It's a little rough. But there's one other thing you need to know about squirrels. It's pretty amazing. When they jump off of a tree and land on the ground, mm-hmm. if you take a snapshot photo of them landing, they land like they're superheroes. Yeah. In like a three-point <laughs> stance with their their one of their arms balled into a fist and pulled up by their side. Like they should have a cape and a mask on, basically. It's it's pretty amazing. I think we might have mentioned that in another episode, but it is it is worth looking up on the internet for sure. Yeah. So um, when they're they're gathering nuts while they're wearing their little cape or their mask, and as you know, um, fall comes, they really have to step it up because they want to they want to gather it for winter. But the thing is, is when they gather this stuff, they don't actually gather it and store it in their nest or in their den because there's not enough room. And this actually finally, Chuck, finally, several minutes in, four plus minutes in, we get to the point of this short stuff. I think we should take a break. (laughs) Oh, man. That's the best cliffhanger we've ever had. Are you kidding me? All right. All right, let's take a break, and we're going to talk about what happens from this point forward right after this. All right, superhero squirrels, mm-hmm. win- winter is coming, right. Game of Thrones style. Mm-hmm. Uh, they know they got to hoard those nuts 
They're also eating nuts. Yeah, they've got to, you know, sustain themselves along the way. So they will eat stuff that they find, but they also bury their stuff. That's what they do. They don't actually have like a pantry or an area of their den or nest where they're storing the nuts. They store them in an area around their tree, usually or where their nest or den is. But apparently, Chuck, they'll they'll expand out like to seven a seven acre radius around that tree too. Yeah, they can. Um, they're called scatter hoarders and. I think generally they like to kind of stick close to home, but if forced to, for whatever reason, they will expand, like you said, up to seven acres away from their tree. And uh, I think, you know, Chippendale did a lot of disservices. I don't know if chipmunks are the same, but all you can picture because of those, uh, Chippendale and Alvin and the gang, well, I guess Alvin and them, all they did was perform concerts, but... All you can think about with Chip, Chip and Dale is him running up and like stuffing a tree hole full of nuts right. for the winter. Right. So that's kind of what you figure happens. But they don't. They they uh, they know other squirrels are going to be watching out. So and they you know can come by and steal their their uh, sack of nuts that mm-hmm. uh, is buried. Mm-hmm. So they they bury them. It's called caching about an inch underground and cover them up again. They'll even crack open nuts sometimes to keep them from germinating. That's pretty smart. And here was, there's two really great parts here to the end of this one. Uh, The first one really gets me was in 2008, they did a study that found that Eastern gray squirrels have deceptive caching. So they know other squirrels are watching. So they will literally go dig a little hole and go, all right, I'm just going to put this acorn right in here, stuff it in their mouth real quick, cover up the hole and then run off and be like, all right, I've just left that acorn buried over there. Uh-huh. Noth- nothing to see here. Right. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? It is pretty amazing. I love that, too, that, that they, um, they're they just They're play acting. Yeah, that's another way to put it. Um, <laughs> the other thing that they do as far as burying this stuff um, is that they uh, will, will put them in areas where they're at risk to um, go dig them up, like at risk of predation, kind of out in the open, far enough away from their tree where they're kind of, it's just getting increasingly risky to, to, to go retrieve that nut. But that they'll put high value nuts there. And we'll talk about how, how squirrels sort nuts in a second. But they put high value nuts there because if it's risky for them, it's just as risky for another squirrel who's not, who, who it doesn't belong to. And so that might cut down on another squirrel coming along and pilfering their, their buried nuts. That's right. Uh, there was another study. This one was by uh, Mikel Delgado and Lucia Jacobs, uh, professors at UC Berkeley. And they said, you know what, this caching thing is a lot more complex than even we knew about. Mm-hmm. Uh, they did these experiments over 19 months for uh, from 2012 to 2014. They fed 45 marked free-ranging uh, eastern fox squirrels, one nut at a time, right. uh, 16 for each squirrel, and all different kinds of nuts, hazelnuts, pecans, walnuts, almonds, the good stuff. And if the squirrels didn't eat the nuts, like you know, we said, they had to take care of themselves. But if they were had been fed for the day, they tracked... Uh, using GPS, where they buried their little nut prizes. And what did they find out? They found out that they um, bury them basically according to things like size, type, potentially calorie density, taste. Um, and so they they graded them basically on, on value. And so like say, you know, they gave a, a squirrel a bunch of walnuts, they would bury the walnuts generally in the same area away from, say, where they buried the almonds or the acorns or whatever. And this is called spatial chunking. And it's a mnemonic device that we use, but it's pretty amazing that squirrels use it too to remember where they put something generally. Like walnuts are generally over here. So if I'm hungry for a walnut, I can just go over there and I'm going to dig up a walnut. Yeah, so it's it's literally a device to remember things because uh, it's a strategy. They said in their quote, uh, it's, a, it's a cognitive strategy to decrease memory load and increase uh, accuracy of retrieval. So um, how you translate that is squirrels have a lot going on and right. they're bearing a lot of nuts. So they use this little mnemonic device to remember where all the good stuff is. Plus, also, don't forget they have squirrel-sized brains. So, yeah, they, they want to take as many shortcuts and use as many mnemonic <laughs> devices as they possibly can to remember where they bury these nuts. And it makes sense that they would be good at this because their survival depends on it, you know? 
So are you, which is to say huge brains? No, very small brains. Very small brains? That are good at taking shortcuts. Because it's true. One of the other things, though, is this This really indicates that squirrels remember where they bury nuts. And, and they do. They have devices for that. But they also forget a lot. And they don't always crack open a nut, which means that squirrels go around and plant lots of trees every year by going and burying acorns, you know, in the ground or walnuts in the ground. Um, that's how, that's one of the ways that some a lot of trees are propagated is through squirrels who go basically garden. So that is squirrels, everybody. Uh, they have their favorites and they hide them where they don't want them to get found, just like I would do. Uh, you know what's weird though, Chuck? I have one question real quick. Why don't humans eat acorns? We eat everything else, all those other nuts that they use to to test the squirrels out with, almonds, walnuts, um, all that. <laughs> Those two, basically. Why don't we eat acorns? Any ideas? I don't know. I think they might be toxic, and they're bitter. Okay. You ever roast one? Or a roasted acorn? Yeah, like on a campfire. I didn't eat it afterwards, though. An acorn squash. Yeah, I don't. I don't know <laughs> if that's actually acorn. No, it's not. Um, you got anything else about squirrels or acorns or anything like that? Nothing else. Okay. Well, everybody, since Chuck said nothing else, that means that we have come to the end of the short stuff. And short stuff is out. Stuff You Should Know is a production of iHeartRadio's How Stuff Works. For more podcasts from iHeartRadio, visit the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to your favorite shows.